What's up, guys? Tristan with Team Red Deck Yu-Gi-Oh! And Tom's been profiling his Con Ray deck that he got third place at with the Sword Championship. All right, uh, it's pretty simple. It's just combo-based deck. It was the first Sword Championship of the season, so I just wanted to try something out. I was playing Vitorator before, but I wanted to try something different, something that could keep pace with uh, Pomaz. Um, so we'll just get into it. Uh, for the yellow cards, uh, we played uh, two Loathe Cat and Mouse, uh, two Fast Hands, Okay. Two unpredictable, two long con, a uh, improv, two electroshock, negotiate, and uh, let the rookie win, and second chance. Um, I played a lot of dice control in this deck. Uh, basically, the loathe cat, unpredictables, uh, electroshock. These are basically all my uh, dice control. Um, if I ain't open with uh, any of my upgrades, I basically just controlled their dice for the entire turn to stall it out. Um, second chance is just amazing with uh, Starship Graveyard. You basically just recycle it every turn that you need it. Um, fast hands just makes Ray even more broken. Um, let the Wookiee win. I added it last minute. I was playing uh, Street Informants because it was another ambush target for Han. But I played Let the Wookiee win and the two damage or the two dice ended up helping more. Uh, and then Long Con, um, usually I just ended up discarding this to reroll my dice or at the end of the turn and then the three resources just come up big late game. Especially when you're trying to resolve multiple second chances, one a turn after the other. Makes sense. Um, blue, or no, we have uh, two DL44s. Um, this card is really good, actually, um, especially with Han. It just, it does a lot of one-hit KOs with Han. Um, and it's ambush, so it gives him a shield, and then every time you play it, you just get to remove when your opponents die. So either you just pass to bait them to roll their dice, or you're, most of the times you just end up playing it. Um, I actually upgrade it over uh, the Holdout Blaster a lot. Just late game, it's a one cost to upgrade it, so it's really good. Um, onto the blue cards, uh, two four speed, two of that, two deflect, and one with the force. Um, four speed with Ray, obviously, it's just broken. It just lets you stack your actions, it's up to four actions in a row before your opponent can do anything. It's just amazing. Um, this card actually won me two or three games. Um, basically, you just, with all the ambush cards you play, you just stack three shields on Han constantly, and then you just play this card, and they, they're not expecting it, and you just kill their guy. Because you just you get them with the in kill, and they're like, oh, you can't do any more damage for the rest of the turn, and then you just kill them with that, and it's really good. Um, I'm thinking about taking these out for blocks, or just doing one deflect and one block, but they didn't come up that much. Every time I played Poe Maz, it wasn't, it wasn't Poe doing range damage, it was Poe doing a special, which is what the deck is supposed to do, but, so I'll probably end up taking one or both of these out for blocks for like Vader Raider or anything with melee. Um, I didn't see this card a lot, I also didn't uh, play it a lot, it's a 4 cost so it's really high, um, you have to have like the right situation to play it otherwise it's it's kind of dead some, most of the times. So, um, when you do play it though, you pretty much should win the game, because either either Ray will have it on her or you'll have it as a support for the rest of the game with Han and that's like 3 damage and then double focus, triple focus, it, 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 all of the sides of the die are just good. Um, Swiftness, this is like the best combo card in the entire deck. You can you can make, uh, what is it, fast hands? You can give fast hands ambush. So off this you're giving Han two shields, and then you're giving Ray two actions with fast hands and it's a zero cost. It's insane. Or even four speed, you can give Ray two actions. It's just, it's amazing. It's nutty. Um, Vibro Knife, uh, just the card everyone should be playing, gets around shields. It has ambush, so once you play on a raid, it's, it's two actions. Um, gets around shields. Um, it helped me in the. Uh, I actually played Ray Qui Gon twice uh, during the store championship, which were both of my losses, unfortunately. But um, yeah, this this helps get around Qui Gon shields that it keeps getting, and all the three shield cards and whatnot. Um, last card is Holdout Blaster. Um, most of the time, you just put it on Ray, and then they're always targeting down Ray so they can stop you from comboing. And then it just goes on the Han, and then, like I said, I just put the DL over this on Han, and Han just starts throwing in damage late game. And there's not much more they can do about it. Uh, Han does sometimes nine damage a turn, which is like That's instant, insane. yeah, instant <laughs> KOs. 
Um, and then, like I said, Starship Graveyard just recycles anything. Most of the times it was recycling second chance. And then Han, simple, just every time you play Ambush, he gains a shield. So he was, he always, Han almost always had three shields on him unless they played the, uh, the repost. And then Ray was just your, your main combo card for the deck. Um, it just helped you take, like I said, multiple actions, four actions in a turn. So, yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's my deck profile. Um, nice. If I had to change anything, like I said, it would just really be the deflect. So, yeah, that was that's about it. Uh, thanks, guys. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more uh, Star Wars and Yu-Gi-Oh videos, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.